new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. Like we can't hear you. <laughs> Welcome to the Josh and Adam show. This time we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. And we're back into Horizon Zero Dawn. Indeed, indeed. So we are picking right back up, more or less, from where we left off. Mm -hmm. uh, just looking around a little bit here, and let's keep going. So yeah, uh, we're still in the the story mission, the main story mission, Deep Secrets of the Earth. And uh, this will be another, probably, another story-focused episode. I see so, indeed. So strap in, yeah. Oh, I can't scan it from there. I should be able to. Oh, okay. I was wondering how to get up here before. <laughs> I think this is it. I can't, why can I not scan it from there? But it's sealed off. It's a thick it's window. Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now. Easy now. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Let's see how long we can snoop and sneak. Uh, okay. We're just passing through, oh, I guess. Ah, yeah. uh, come around the back of them. Oh. <laughs> She's over there. I am Samina Elbaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. New Tehran. What happened to old Tehran? Uh oh. Preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion. Albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. <laughs> True. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Cradle facilities. What could that be? Projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Five. All your other languages, you're screwed. Yep. We don't need them. I guess there'll be a record of those languages. Mm. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. <laughs> that is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed, not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Well, at least she was excited about it. Yeah. Just under the worst circumstances imaginable. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can't have a chipper tune. What is over here? What's that? Oh, I thought that was a door. Looks like it. it. Does kind of look like a door still. Get him. See, I can't. Still then. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> 
Ooh, oh man, he's like way. sniping me. Yeah. <laughs> Burned away. Nice. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> and get a hundred just for a heavy weapon kill. Yeah. That's nice. Let's see if anything is left. Anything over here? Mm, just some of this stuff. Some dim shrooms. Yeah, bro. Get the shrooms. <laughs> Well, that's a big room. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to fight them like throughout this entire room. Here. <laughs> it's supposed to spread out, run around, you know. Yeah, for later. Welcome. Oh God. Hades. Hades. Fail -safe protocol. It's Travis. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as guy I may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos. Spin and top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life loving to do, which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start. Interesting. Over. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what Hades' job is. To start everything over. Seems like he's starting to start everything over again. Yeah. And if that, if that AI gets corrupted, then you can get some bad stuff. Yep. <laughs> okay. Seems like he enjoys it a little bit too much. Yeah, right. So welcome to Hades. Kind of metal. Welcome to the void. Okay, so Oh, I guess that's why they put Travis here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's perfect. We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a feral titan getting worshipped? Oh, these are all noise complaints. God, I hate the way he talks. <laughs> it's, it's just... Okay, he's listening to metal while he's programming at Hades, of course. Some kind of god. I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Hades protocol. Interesting. Yeah, so she has to kind of guy has to relinquish control for Hades to be able to do its its job. Mm -hmm. Interesting data corruption, archive abuse. Oh, he's like submitting stuff for pres the cultural preservation. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Samina Ebaji uh, was the, the Apollo director. Not the spacecraft, but the... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Eleuthia. The Eleuthia. So I guess at some point, if they wanted to recreate human life, they would need genetic technology to do it, you know, yeah. and they would all be clones. I mean, Yeah, this stuff is all really interesting to me. Yeah. You know, right. it's it's an interesting speculative type of fiction where, like, you know, if the world was ending, you had unlimited resources and, like, you know, super technological advances and stuff like that, what would you do to restart, you know, all life on Earth, basically? Mm-hmm. It's, an, it's an interesting uh, hypothetical, you know. It, uh, it it kind of falls really late in the game when you start learning about all this stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, you know, obviously you know something's going on, but yeah, a lot of this stuff is just really dropped on you all in this one mission here. Yeah. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Yeah, so this is where the new humans were going to be created by these these machines here. Humans would be spawned inside such back here. She did. My mother mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. See, that's where Aloy was born in one of those. Mm-hmm. So that's why she's a clone of of someone. I wonder where all the other people came from, though. Maybe uh, that's interesting. I don't know. I figured they were clones too. Yeah, probably. But I mean, a lot of them were born naturally. You know, they had parents. Yeah. Aloy didn't. She was a an actual clone, like made in one of those cradle facilities. Mm-hmm. Just, just uh, exploring here, making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, this seems like a battle area. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not going to put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? Of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. 
to ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. It. He thinks of it as an it. Us would benefit from antelopony morphologies, though campered forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet, oh, there's a rat. And yet, <laughs> I find the loss of megafaunal species. Oh no, it's not. Unaccountable. <laughs> Look like it. Yeah. But they passed forever into oblivion. Causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. It... So Gaia <laughs> feels bad when learning about extinction events. Yeah. And organisms dying that's important you will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to prime and final statement elizabeth may i speak outside protocol when you're back up and running at the new site we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand elizabeth i detect distress are you all right i'm fine i realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Mm. Mm -hmm. Made a pride open. Oh, you know what that means. <laughs> Mario Odyssey has failed. Alright, let's see what this is. Detect? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry of the hatch inside all mother. Grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? That's a good question. Oh, shit. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Aw, oh, thanks, Silence. You really <laughs> care about me. Wherever you are in your safe place, <laughs> maybe. Oh, is that the dude? Yeah. Dang. Come on, if I was affected by that, you were affected by that. <laughs> right. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Bruh. 
gross. I don't like when he says child. Yeah, me either. Don't say that. You're gross. <laughs> <laughs> Even when Meridian fell, I never... Look at this contraption. Until you came along. My Dorito. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Why indeed? <laughs> trying to bore me to death. <laughs> Could you just kill me now? Oh no. We're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice. At that moment on the mountain. I aimed to Sweet kill bullet necklace, bro. <laughs> and yet did not. Did you get that at Hot Topic? <laughs> He's talking about this mistake he made. He's repeating that mistake right now. Yeah. That I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. The time I wasted making these cornrows. <laughs> it took me four hours to get my hair like this. <laughs> offering to the sun everything as it was meant to be predestined and preordained how exciting is that yeah damn I like all these I know <laughs> but an idiot all this talk of destiny and fate I'm sure Hades speaks the same language doesn't he you're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You I don't think he does. Yeah. Homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. All right, Deepak Chopra, let's fucking... <laughs> See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. Except you know, this guy's the, uh, the next Bond villain. You know, he's gonna be in the next <laughs> Bond movie. Uh, I don't think I'll go see it. <laughs>
Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of a network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? No, it's still your fault. <laughs> Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> Ugh, don't make that noise again. Yeah. Now I regret being able to hear. <laughs> was that him making that noise or was that me at the thought of this conversation ending? <laughs> We're here for a battle. All right, this is the finale. Let's do it. Let's do this. No, nope, we're just gonna look at each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. They're like we can't hear you. <laughs> what? The false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. Yeah, there's no way anyone hears a word he's saying. I have become an instrument of prophecy. Of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Well, everybody got real quiet. Oh boy. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these? Proud in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the radiance in the eyes of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Uh, uh. Be the first of thousands. Damn. I could have killed you right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we found a rock crusher. Or is that what they're called? I think I don't think this is that. I think this is something else. Oh. Use its strength against it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Maybe it is a rock breaker. I don't know. Hey. Is she going to emerge? <laughs> now she's ready. Are you not entertained? Hey, guess we got a weapon. That was a weird little cutscene right there. Yeah. Come and get it. I don't have a focus. He scorched it with his hands. Maybe we steal his off him. Oh, get away. It's about to explode. 
<laughs> Silly Rhino. Crazy with that huge canister gone. I know. Ooh. Dodge into it. Nice. He's close. Nicely done. Got him. <laughs> That was fun. Nice. Oh, 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 I wanted to loot him. <laughs> mm. Silence. I mean, has he not seen her kill numerous monsters? <laughs> I, I mean, so. machines. Take these out too. All right. Do your worst. Kill her. Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself. Oh yeah. Hey, silence. He knows silence. Oh, oh yeah. Brought the cavalry. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That would be nice. something that would be awesome to have in the next game. Is like control like a pack of of machines. Oh, yeah. You know, that you can, like, coordinate their attacks and stuff. That would be pretty sick. Do, like, big scale battles. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Silence. You actually did something. Yeah. Got out of got out of your little hidey spot. Oh, that's what she said. If you'd been killed for Nora's sacred mountain, you'd never have given up your secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Storing that data to refocus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little girl. You're really good at making it impossible to like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. He's got all of these, like, threads through his skin. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. It's cooling it's wires. I'll be off. So he doesn't overheat. Wait. <laughs> yes? You can override machines? You override machines. Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. 
Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by the next shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Kalis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that How could she see that? The eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. He's not telling us all. No. Oh. To make matters worse. Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think oh, yeah? Them, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy. <laughs> when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cool. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a one, but a few. Yeah! <laughs> weird, weird little motion capture bits after that. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It's had a little tiny little loading screen at the end there. That's freaking awesome. I think that's a good spot to end the episode because we got another new main quest to hit up on the next one. Yeah, sounds good. All right, well, thank you for watching. Bye. Rip, 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 rip,